Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. <clears throat> and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Saturday, October the 10th. It's the 19th week after Pentecost and week 7 in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 144, Jeremiah chapter 35, verse 1 through 19. And a quick programming note. Uh, next week, the Daily Office will be on hiatus while I travel for retreat. And please join me in singing the fourth verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Nobis. Listen to God's voice today and harden not your hearts as in the desert long ago when our forebears provoked God. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, blessed are you, my God, my strength, who trains my hands for war. Alleluia, Psalm 144. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, blessed are you, my God, my strength, who trains my hands for war and my fingers to fight. My goodness and my fortress, my high tower and my deliverer. My shield, the one in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. O oh God, what are we that you even notice us? Mere mortals that you care about us. Creatures who are like a breeze, our days like a shadow that passes away. Bend your heavens and come down. Touch the mountains and they shall smoke. Cast forth lightning and scatter the foe. Shoot out your arrows and destroy them. Send your hand from above and deliver me out of great waters, from the hands of alien foes, whose mouths speak lies, and their right hand is raised in perjury. I will sing a new song to you, O God, upon the psaltery and an instrument of ten strings. I will sing praises to you. It is you that give salvation to kings, who deliver David from the sword, Rid me of alien foes whose mouths speak lies and their right hands raised in perjury. That our sons may flourish like saplings and our daughters may be like graceful columns, polished as though for a palace. That our barns may be full with crops of every kind. That our sheep may increase by thousands and ten thousands in our streets. That our oxen may be heavy with young that there be no ruined wall nor exile, that there be no complaining in our streets. Happy the people who are blessed, happy are they whose God is the Most High. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are you, my God, my strength, who trains my hands for war. Hallelujah. A lesson from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 35, beginning at verse 1. The word that came to Jeremiah from Yahweh in the days of King Jehoiakim, son of Josiah of Judah. Go to the house of the Rechabites, and speak with them, and bring them to the house of Yahweh, into one of the chambers. Then offer them wine to drink. So I took Jaazaniah, son of Jeremiah, son of Habazaniah, and his brothers, and all his sons, and the whole house of the Rechabites. And I brought them to the house of the Most High, into the chamber of the sons of Hanan, the man of God, which was near the chamber of the officials above the chamber of Maasiah, son of Shalom, keeper of the threshold. And then I set before the Rechabites pitchers full of wine and cups, and I said to them, Have some wine. But they answered, We will drink no wine. For our ancestor Jonadab, the son of Rechab, commanded us, You shall never drink wine, neither you nor your children, nor shall you ever build a house or sow seed, nor shall you plant a vineyard, or even own one. But you shall live in tents all your days. 
that you may live many days in the land where you reside. We have obeyed the charge of our ancestor Jonadab, son of Rechab, in all that he commanded us, to drink no wine all our days, ourselves, our wives, our sons, or daughters, and not to build houses to live in. We have no vineyard or field or seed, but we have lived in tents and have obeyed and done all that our ancestor Jonadab commanded us. But then King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon came up against the land, and we said, Come, let us go to Jerusalem for fear of the army of the Chaldeans and the army of the Arameans, and that is why we are living in Jerusalem. And then the word of Yahweh came to Jeremiah, Thus says Yahweh of hosts, the God of Israel, Go and say to the people of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, can you not learn a lesson and obey my words, says the Most High? The command has been carried out that Jonadab, the son of Rechab, gave to his descendants to drink no wine. And they drink none to this day, for they have obeyed their ancestors' command. But I myself have spoken to you persistently, and you have not obeyed me. I have sent to you all my servants, the prophets, sending them persistently, saying, Turn now every one of you from your evil ways, and amend your doings, and do not go after other gods to serve them. And then you shall live in the land that I gave you and your ancestors. But you did not incline your ear or obey me. The descendants of Jonadab, son of Rechab, have carried out the command that their ancestor gave them. But this people has not obeyed me. Therefore, thus says Yahweh, the God of hosts, the God of Israel. I am going to bring on Judah and on all the inhabitants of Jerusalem every disaster that I have pronounced against them, because I have spoken to them and they have not listened. I have called to them and they have not answered. But to the house of the Rechabites, Jeremiah said, Thus says Yahweh of hosts, the God of Israel, because you have obeyed the command of your ancestor Jonadab and kept all his precepts, and done all that he commanded you. Therefore thus says the Most High of hosts, the God of Israel, Jonadab, son of Rechab, shall not lack a descendant to stand before me for all time. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray for the church in the world, and please respond, hear us, tender God. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Don and Tom and Richard and Joe and Bill, and for all of our church leaders, and for all clergy and ministers, that they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacraments, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the poor, the hungry, and the thirsty, for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For Barak and Joe and John, and for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, and for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth, we pray. Hear us, tender God, that God who has begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment, we pray. Hear us, tender God, for the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. We pray, hear us, tender God, together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, 
now and forever. Let us pray. Your blessings fill us with joy, Almighty God, for you give us the victory and set us free from the enemy. Accept this, our humble praise and song. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.